in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful mesh thing for close-ups on a microphone. Um, so first thing you want to do is press open up Blender, create a new scene. And once you've got a new scene we'll make use of the default cube. So we're going to go to our modifier stack, add modifier and we'll use the subdivision surface. We'll chuck this on 6 and with it selected to 6 we will then leave it on cut more clock and apply. Now we'll press tab, go into object mode. Now at this point we can decide on the shape of the mic. Now if it's going to be round uh, then we want to change it by pressing shift alt s and moving this all the way out until the top left hand side of the screen where my, where my mouse is. The top sphere says 1. This will be a perfect quad sphere which is great but perhaps let's undo that. I'm going to just show you the other ways to go about this. You want it to be uneven like this because it's got more of a mic shape by default. Alternatively, um, you might have a mic you're using and you might just want to make it a bit extended. So you might press S, Z, something like this. And if this is the case and now you're losing that wonderful shape, um, let's actually just undo quickly until we get the modifier stack. Press tab and I'm just going to press this and I'm just going to press S, Z, and I'm going to type in 1.5 and then I'm going to press Control R and we can have something like that and if you want we can do the same at the bottom another way to do it really well is just to press Control R scroll up for two cuts left click then right click and then press S to scale then press Z to lock on the Z axis and just bring it out like that and it would be perfect um, so perhaps you want it to look like this um, and if this is the case we can work with this but just for fun I'm gonna create a few different shapes here because why not um, G Z uh, there we go we'll use this one yeah and once again I'm, I'm just gonna select this one and press control uh, 5 and that just creates a loop cut of 5 and we'll leave this one like that I'm gonna press shift A mesh G, Z, and this one over here, I'm going to press Control 5, and this one I'm going to apply. I'm going to press Tab, Shift Alt S, click. Now we've got our th three different shapes for our um, mesh multi thing. Now the, our job is to try and actually make that shape. So before we do that, let's click on solid view mode, click over here, switch to matte cap and then select this so we can see it nice and shiny. So these are going to be our three top bits of our microphone. On all of them, I'm just right clicking and shading smooth if I have not already. And now we can begin. I'll start off with this one and we'll apply <laughs> the settings to all of them. So the first thing we want to do is add a decimate and decimate if not mistaken it's D there we go decimate and for decimate the only thing that we have to care about is unsubdivide and we're going to have the iterations to level one and then we can minimize that and we, now we're going to add a cost and the cost needs to be set to a factor of one and then we're done with that and then finally we need to add a wireframe and just like that we already got this beautiful shape and it's looking pretty good and you could play with the thickness of here decide how thick you want it perhaps you want it super thin like that you can decide I'm just gonna right click on this and reset to default value and leave it like that and we've got this one over here now we want to do the same to these so once again all we need to do is right click and we are looking for decimate here we go decimate we'll leave on some unsubdivide and we'll put this iteration to one and then we're going to add cost oh, I feel like I'm going blind there we go cost and then cost uh, we're casting it currently to a sphere. You can also cast it to a cylinder. And let's make this a factor of one. 
And what happens if we make it list? So I'm just going to hold in shift here and just bring this down until we get a shape that we like. Zero point one, something like that should be fine. Cool. We'll use that for, for this one, yeah. And then finally, uh, we can now use wireframe. Now we've got some iffiness over here, so let's try and fix that. So if we put this on one, and put this on one. We don't want to actually do that. Perhaps you'd something like that. We can actually create a unique shape like this, which is pretty cool. But cubanoid. I think we're going to make use of a cylinder. Put this on one. Put this on zero point one. Zero point zero one. In this case, I'm just going to remove this one. This one's not needed for this. It looks fine without it. And I'm just bringing this back until we get rid of all deformations that we can. And that's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's a little bit more fine, but it works. All right, now we want to do the same over here. This one's going to match the first one, which is simple uh, decimate, unsubdivide, factor of one, and then we want to go cost, and we can choose our shape, which is sphere, and we'll make the factor one, which makes it a perfect sphere, I guess. And finally, we can click wireframe. So these are the three examples we have. Now with this one, just to be, you'll notice that it's got these little bumps over here, whereas this one, it's a little bit less noticeable because of how we built it. So let's see what we can do around this. Even though this feels more like a natural mic where it's got these weird defects, let's just play around with this quickly. Um, so the first thing I want to play around with is the thickness. And uh, I'm going to make it 0 0.001, 0 0.01, 0 .01. that's super thin as it is, which is fine. And then once we've got our shapes that we're happy with, we press numpad 1 for front orthographic view and we're going to cut them in half so but before we do um, we have to select this and from the top we start applying everything another way to do this is press F3 and say convert to mesh or automatically apply it F3 search for convert to mesh and apply now everything's applied now we can select this tab to go into edit mode zoom in so you don't want to get this wrong and just do this I did it perfect there but I forgot to turn on x-ray mode so we have to do it again because we want to get the stuff behind now we've got everything which is great we can press X delete vertices now we can do the same over here press tab to go into object mode select this tab to go into edit mode and this one's a lot more fine Let's do this. Select that. Hold in shift and select the rest. X, delete, vertices. Then finally, this one over here, tab to go into object mode, select it, tab to go into edit mode. Do that. X, delete, vertices. And now we have all three of these. And they all happen to be round-ish. So this is going to have... A have the same solution for all of them. So I'm going to press numpad 1, I'm going to press shift A, mesh, and we are going to make use of a cylinder. 
in this cylinder, I'm going to press tab to go to edit mode, I'm going to press F to fill, I'm going to press I to inset, and I'll do something like that, and then I'll press 3 to choose faces, X delete that little face, and then Alt, select these faces here, and press E to extrude to about that height, press tab to go into object mode, turn off x-ray so I can see what I'm doing. Now this might be acceptable for you, this might be good enough, or you might want to sh shade smooth, and that might be acceptable, or you might want to say, hey, actually, I want to subdivide this. And normally level 2 is pretty good. And then just looking at this, this is pretty good, but I probably want to just press tab, 3, hold, select the bottom here, and then just press numpad 1 for front orthographic, E to extrude down, Z to lock to the Z axis, Z again to loose from the Z axis, and Z to lock to it, and just bring it to about that level of thickness. Once you've done that, you can press tab to go into object mode, you can press Shift D to duplicate, then right click to lock it in place, turn on X-ray mode, and press E to scale, and we want it to be about this scaling. Now we can press tab to go into edit mode, and we've still got the bottom selected as you can see, so now we can just press one to go, numpad 1 to be in front orthographic again, and press E to extrude down, and you can press GG, wait, you can press, sorry, G, Z, and just bring this down to any length that you think is appropriate. You can just scale this down however you like. And there's a lot of cool things you can do here. That's, that's an example of this one. Now we're going to apply the same logic to the rest. We're going to press, um, we're going to press, is this bottom not filled? Oh, I just realized we forgot to fill this bottom. So select this, tab to go to edit mode press 2 for edge select, then alt and select all of this and press F to fill. Now when I press numpad 7, it's going to look full, it's not going to look empty. Cool. That's with x-ray turned on. With turn, turned off, you, can't, you can basically not tell. So obviously this mic is missing all the internals, but it's pretty much done. The casing is done. Now we're going to do the rest, the same with the rest, just so you can see in case you're curious. I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh, and Cylinder. Uh, G, X, and let's bring this to about there. I'll, I'll just eyeball this. And then I'm going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press 1 for Verti Select, F to Fill, 2 for Edge Select, and then I'm going to press I to Inset. X to delete that face we just created. A to select all. S to scale. I just bring it into about there. Numpad 1. And I'm just going to press E to extrude. Tab. And you might be happy with that. Or you might want to press Shade Smooth. And add a subdivision surface modifier. And once you've done that, you probably want to turn on X-ray mode. Press tab, well, press Shift D in object mode. Right click, then S to scale it down. Tab to go into edit mode, and then we want to turn off X-ray mode for a second. We just want to press three for face select. Alt, select all these faces, numpad one, and we can just uh, extrude this down. I guess we can just make it slightly different, I guess. And last but not least, it's the same process. Ah, almost forgot to fill this again. Might as well just fill it. Press 2, select all this, F to fill. That's looking a lot better. Now we can press numpad 7. Shift A mesh, and we're going to use a circle again. G X. Tab to go into edit mode. Press one for verti select. F to fill. Press two for edge select. I to inset. Three for face select. X delete faces. 
a to select all, s to scale it in, s about there should be fine, and now we can just press e to extrude up, and we can shade this smooth, add a subdivision surface to a level that you think is good, just number at one, press shift d in object mode, right click, turn on extra mode so we can see what we're doing, press s to scale it in, and once you've done that, you can turn off X-ray mode and just press tab to go into edit mode. Press 3 for face select. Alt, select all the bottom faces. Press numpad 1, zoom out, and press E. And this one we're going to press E, S. E. S. And perhaps we just want to make this one different because why not? And I'm going to press Control B to bevel this. And then I'm just going to press E S to bevel it in. And the way I'm going to bevel it in, I'm going to use individual origin. E S and we can now select these faces here. Control B to bevel this. Or better yet, why don't we just right click mark sharp? and turn on extra mode so we can see this. Alt select this, Alt shift select this, and then all we need to do here is right click, mark sharp, I think I'm missing one. Right click mark sharp. What happens if we just press delete dissolve edges? That actually probably looks a little bit better, I think. So I'll leave that. And this one will leave it wonky. And I'll press 3 and I will select these over here. Right click. I'm going to press 2 for edge select. Right click. Mark sharp. She don't like that. So, you know what? Turn off extra mode, it's making it look wonky. So what we can do is use an edge split. And maybe put this on 80. And then selecting this tab. And then just go and control R over here and just bring in this in. Control R, bring in this in. Get rid of the edge split. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of the edge split. But obviously, I want to get rid of these defects as well. And we can do the same over here, I guess, which is overkill, considering we're kind of done with this. Again, cool. We've made three interesting microphones. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.